I'm out here. It's a beauty morning. I'm up on this ridge right across from the shelter doing some exploring. <clears throat> nice, crisp, cool air today. I'm looking for fatwood. I'm looking for pine pitch. Oozing out of a tree, if I can find that. And because uh, I really want to make pine tar or pine pitch glue. Whichever, whichever I can uh, manage to uh, put together. I just stumbled across some, some fatwood. I got so excited that I, I forgot to film. I just started cutting it. And uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. This tree has been down for a long time. You can see where the sap has just been oozing out of this piece. So I went ahead and cut some pieces off. But look at this, man. This is unbelievable. This is probably the most fat wood and sap that I've ever found in one single log. Look at that, man. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to go ahead and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of this. I'm not going to take all of it. I'm just going to cut some Cut a little piece of this and take it back to camp. That was three days ago, four days ago. As soon as I got back to camp with that wood, that fat wood, I got a call from work and I've worked the past three days. So now I'm back. Well, I just peeled back this tarp and I could feel something inside my trash bag that's got my my moving blanket and a mouse ran out and he ran into this fire pit behind me and then I start picking up other stuff and look at what I found another one. yep I guess that's to be expected they've been chewing all up in this blanket so I guess I'm reclaiming my blanket I know one thing that mama mouse better not come back up here and chew up my stuff. Chew up my backpack, my sleeping bag. The baby's right over there. Maybe she'll find them. Maybe she won't.
about five o'clock in the evening. Right now I'm on a mission to get some firewood for the evening. We're gonna keep it OG tonight. We're gonna cook up a New York strip. Feels a little punky. Maybe it's just the bark on the exterior. Man, <clears throat> there was a gang of coyotes back here behind the shelter last night. It was probably like 2 o'clock in the morning when I heard them. And I just knew they was coming for whatever that of that steak that I didn't eat. But I burned it all in the fire. And uh, I had to get up. Grab my machete real quick. I ain't gonna lie. Let's see. We got three blind mice. We got a New York strip, which was good, by the way. Oh, yeah. Who's ready to make some pine tar? Man, this sleeping bag, it's a snug pack. TSB is base cap base camp ops. It's pretty nice. It's warm. I think it's rated down to 30 degrees Fahrenheit. But it's just not wide enough. But I stay plenty warm. This is a leftover charcoal from this morning, last night's fire. I'm just using a rock, got it in this pie plate. I'm gonna grind this up into a powder. So now we got the fire down to a bit nice bed of coals. Unbelievable, dude. Unbelievable. So I got about that much in there right now. Yep, yeah, starting to get down to the wood on that spot. But I think I got enough for right now. Man, look at what it did to my knife. God, Marty. I'm gonna set my tin with the pine pitch in there. I'm gonna heat that up slowly. <clears throat>
put some of our charcoal in there. Maybe a little bit more. All right, so I think that's good. I probably could make it thicker, but we're gonna set this to the side and let it cool. It's already starting to get thick, which is good. I think that's good for that one. Let's go ahead and do another one. Now I have two natural glue sticks. Let's go ahead and put one of them to use. working pretty good that's on there this this wasn't bad for my first time doing this sure I'll get better at it with practice I think I put too much charcoal because it got too clumpy but uh it's pretty strong right now it's hard I can use this stuff for all kinds of projects natural cordage holding it together you name it I'll see you on the next one